Space exploration is humanity's greatest adventure, but it's also our most dangerous. Every mission carries the risk of tragedy, and for some brave souls, that risk became reality. Today, we uncover the most horrific deaths in space history. Space travel represents the ultimate test of human ingenuity and courage. However, behind every successful mission lies a shadow of enormous risk. Space is an unforgiving environment where even the smallest technical error, material defect, or miscalculation can lead to disaster. There is no room for mistakes when you are thousands of miles away from Earth, surrounded by the vacuum of space. The pursuit of discovery and exploration has always come at a cost, and for some, that cost was paid with their lives. These sacrifices remind us that space exploration is not just about heroism. It is about confronting the brutal and often deadly unknown. Vladimir Komarov holds a tragic place in history as the first human to die during an actual space mission. In April 1967, Komarov launched aboard Soyuz 1, a mission plagued with technical problems from the start. Critical systems fail almost immediately after reaching orbit, including power issues and navigation errors. Despite knowing the mission was fatally flawed, Komarov made the brave decision to proceed, understanding the consequences. During re-entry, the parachute system malfunctioned, and his capsule crashed into the ground at high speed, killing him instantly. It is said that Komarov was fully aware of his doomed fate before launch, but chose to fly to spare his backup pilot, a national hero, from certain death. His death remains a somber symbol of the dangers faced by early space pioneers. The Apollo 1 tragedy occurred on January 27, 1967, during a pre-launch test on the launch pad at Cape Kennedy Air Force Station. Astronauts Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger B. Chaffee were inside the command module when a fire suddenly ignited inside the highly oxygenated cabin. Within seconds, flames engulfed the spacecraft. Due to the design of the hatch, which opened inward and required pressure equalization to operate, the crew was trapped and unable to escape. All three astronauts perished from asphyxiation and burns in under a minute. The incident shocked the nation and led to major design overhauls, safety improvements, and renewed focus on making manned spaceflight as safe as possible. The sacrifice of the Apollo 1 crew deeply impacted the future of NASA's missions, ultimately paving the way for safer journeys to the moon and beyond. On January 28, 1986, the Space Shuttle Challenger lifted off from Cape Canaveral in what was meant to be a historic mission. Among the crew was Krista McAuliffe, a civilian school teacher selected to become the first teacher in space. Just 73 seconds after liftoff, disaster struck. A failure in the O-ring seal of one of the solid rocket boosters caused a catastrophic explosion, tearing the shuttle apart midair. All seven crew members were killed instantly as debris fell into the Atlantic Ocean. The event was broadcast live across the nation, leaving a lasting scar on public consciousness. Investigations revealed that engineers had warned of potential O-ring issues in cold weather, but their concerns were not heeded. The Challenger disaster led to a 32-month suspension of the shuttle program and a complete re-evaluation of NASA's safety protocols. 17 years after Challenger, tragedy struck NASA once again with the Space Shuttle Columbia disaster. On February 1, 2003, as Columbia was re-entering Earth's atmosphere after a successful mission, the shuttle disintegrated over Texas. Unknown to the crew, a piece of foam insulation had broken off from the external fuel tank during launch and struck the left wing, damaging the thermal protection system. As Columbia re-entered the atmosphere, superheated air penetrated the wing, causing the structure to fail. All seven astronauts on board were lost. The disaster prompted another major investigation and led to the eventual retirement of the space shuttle program in 2011. Columbia's loss was a grim reminder that spaceflight remains one of the most dangerous undertakings humanity has ever pursued. The tragedy of Soyuz 11 remains one of the most chilling episodes in the history of space exploration. In June 1971, cosmonauts Georgi Dobrovolsky, Viktor Patsayev, and Vladislav Volkov successfully completed a record-setting mission aboard the world's first space station, Salyut 1. However, disaster struck during their return to Earth. As the Soyuz 11 capsule prepared for re-entry, a cabin ventilation valve accidentally opened prematurely, leading to rapid depressurization. The crew had no time to react, 
and without spacesuits to protect them, all three men perished from asphyxiation within seconds. When recovery teams opened the capsule after landing, they found the cosmonauts lifeless, still strapped into their seats. Soyuz 11 remains the only recorded incident where humans have died in the vacuum of space itself, rather than during launch or re-entry. Not every space mission ends in tragedy, but many have come perilously close. One of the most famous close calls in space history was Apollo 13, a mission that nearly ended in disaster. In April 1970, astronauts Jim Lovell, Fred Hayes, and Jack Swigert were en route to the moon when an oxygen tank explosion crippled their spacecraft. The explosion caused a cascade of system failures, and the crew was forced to abort the mission. With limited power and no way to generate oxygen, the astronauts were left with only one option, to rely on their ingenuity and the support of the ground team at NASA. Through their resourcefulness and the quick thinking of mission control, Apollo 13's crew was able to return safely to Earth despite the life-threatening challenges they faced. This mission is often cited as a testament to human perseverance and teamwork in the face of overwhelming adversity. Spacewalks, or extravehicular activities, are among the most high-risk activities astronauts undertake during space missions. One of the most frightening incidents occurred in 2013 when Italian astronaut Luca Parmitano experienced a potentially fatal spacewalk mishap. During a routine spacewalk aboard the International Space Station, Parmitano's helmet began to fill with water from a malfunctioning cooling system. As the water accumulated, it severely obstructed his vision and threatened to drown him in the vacuum of space. The situation was critical, as he had limited time to return to the safety of the station. Thanks to his calmness and training, Parmitano managed to make it back to the airlock, where he was immediately assisted by his colleagues. The incident highlighted the dangers of EVAs and led to major redesigns of spacewalk equipment to prevent similar accidents in the future. Space is not only hostile, but utterly inhospitable to human life without proper protection. The human body is not designed to survive the conditions of the vacuum of space, and exposure can lead to immediate and fatal consequences. The first effect it is hypoxia or the lack of oxygen, which would cause unconsciousness within seconds. Without air pressure, the bodily fluids would begin to boil, a phenomenon called ebolism, where gas bubbles form in the bloodstream, causing severe swelling and tissue damage. This could lead to death within minutes. In addition to ebolism, the body would experience extreme temperature fluctuations, freezing in the shadow of a spacecraft and cooking in direct sunlight. Without the protection of a spacesuit, the human body would not survive these extreme conditions for more than a few minutes. This is why space agencies have invested so heavily in life support systems, ensuring that astronauts are shielded from these deadly effects while in space. Every loss in space exploration has led to lessons that have shaped the future of space travel. The tragic events of the past, along with near-death experiences, have prompted a multitude of safety advancements and changes in protocols. After the Apollo 1 disaster, NASA made significant improvements in spacecraft design, such as creating more fire-resistant materials and ensuring safer oxygen environments. Following the Challenger and Columbia disasters, the agency overhauled the space shuttle program, focusing on risk assessment and management, as well as improving communication and decision-making processes. Today, space agencies around the world use advanced simulations and risk management strategies to minimize the dangers faced by astronauts. In addition, new technologies such as automated spacecraft, more robust spacesuits, and better life support systems are now standard. With these improvements, space travel is safer than ever, enabling future missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond, where the risks, while ever-present, are continually being mitigated. Space will always be a place of wonder and unimaginable risk. To honor these lives lost among the stars, we must never forget the price they paid for progress. Subscribe for more true and powerful stories from the final frontier.